Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have square root of m inside the square root of m inside the square root of m is equals to 128 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So uh, I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate provide this method into the comment section. So uh, first uh, our claim is to remove all of these three square root signs. Uh, so it means that we need to take uh, squaring on, on both of the sides of three times. So first we take a squaring on both of the sides. After taking squaring it will be written as square root of m into square root of m into square root of m and its whole square is equals to 128 and its whole square and now you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here m times of uh, this is square root of m into square root of m is equals to 128 and its whole square so in order to uh, remove uh, the remaining two square root signs we need uh, to again take scaling on both of the sides. So uh, when again we take scaling it will be written as we will take scaling again on here uh, on both of the sides. So uh, this square means that we need to apply this scale on both of these terms. So here first we apply uh, this scale on this m and it will becomes m square and now we apply this square on this term and it is square root of m inside the square root of m and its whole square and here we use the nice exponent law and according to this law we will multiply these two exponents and it will become here <clears throat> 128 and its whole power is 2 times of 2 becomes 4. So further in the next step we have this is m square into this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here m times of square root of m is equals to 128 and its whole power is 4. So you see here this m square multiplied by m is equals to m cubed into square is equals to 128 and its whole power is 4. So in order to again uh, remove this square root sign we need to again take scaling on both of the sides. So uh, when we will take scaling it will be written as m cubed into square root of m and its whole square into 128 to the power of 4 and its whole square. So uh, again we use here uh, the nice uh, square uh, rule so we apply these two separately on both of these values and it will be written as m cubed whole square into square root of m and its whole square is equals to here we again apply the exponent law and these two exponents are multiplied by each other and we will get here 128 and its whole power is 4 times of 2 becomes here 8. So further in the next step you see here this is uh, 3 times of 2 becomes here 6 and we get here m to the power of 6 into this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here m is equals to uh, here we have this is 128 so we write this 128 as 2 to the power of 7 and its whole power is 8. So in the left hand side you see here m to the power of 6 is multiplied by m and it will be written as m to the power of 7 is equals to here we use another exponent law. And according to this exponent law, if we have a to the power of n to the power of n, it is written as a to the power of n to the power of m. So according to this rule, we need to exchange these two exponents and after exchanging these two exponents, it will be written as 2 to the power of 8 and its whole power is 7. And now here we need to compare both of the sides and when we compare the bases, uh, then you get here our m is equals to 2 to the power of 8. 
or in other words 2 to the power of 8 equals to 256 so this is the final uh, root of the given equation uh, which we get here and now here in the next steps we need to verify this value of m so in order to verification of this value of m first we need to copy down the given question statement here and the given question statement is square root of m into square root of m into square root of m is equals to 128 so uh, here we substitute uh, the above value of m here and after substituting this value here it will be written as so we use this value 2 to the power of 8 here and after substitution of this value it will be written as uh, this is 2 to the power of 8 into square root of 2 to the power of 8 into square root of 2 to the power of 8 is equals to 128. And further in the next step we need more simplifications here and now first uh, we uh, just write uh, this square root sign into the exponent form and you see here this is 2 to the power of 8 into square root of 2 to the power of 8 and we write this uh, square root sign as 2 to the power of 8 and its whole power is 1 over 2 and we check that is this equals to 128 or not. So here you see that these are cancelled out by each other. This is 2 times of 4 becomes here 8 and we will get here this is square root of 2 to the power of 8 and here we write this square root sign into the exponential form and it will be written as uh, this is 2 to the power of 8 into uh, this will become here 2 to the power of 4 and its whole power is 1 over 2 and we check that is this equals to 128 or not. Here you see that the basis of these two terms are same so we add its exponents and it will be written as so when we add these two exponents it, it, it will become here 2 to the power of 8 into this will becomes 2 to the power of 12 and its exponent is 1 over 2 and we check that is this equals to 128 or not. So these are cancelled out by each other and we get here 2 times of 6 becomes 12 and now here in the final step we add we write this square root sign into the exponent form and it will become here 2 to the power of 8 into this will becomes 2 to the power of 6 and its whole power is 1 over 2 and we check that is this equals to 128 or not and you see here uh, we add these two values and it will becomes 2 to the power of 14 and its whole power is 1 over 2 is equals to 128 and you see here this is 2 times of 7 becomes 14 uh, and we get here 2 to the power of 7 is equals to 128 so 2 to the power of 7 uh, becomes 128 is equals to 128 so this shows that the value of m is satisfied our given question statement and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.